Hey you guys, it is Wednesday and that calls for a new copycat recipe. So today I'm sharing with you guys Disney's Dole Whip recipe. I'm really, really excited about this one because this recipe to me is just as good as Disney's Dole Whip, if not better. But I did want to mention to you guys um, that this recipe that I am using contains dairy. The original Dole Whip recipe does not contain dairy. I just couldn't find or come up with a recipe that was good to me that didn't contain dairy. So that is a little side note. I hope you guys all enjoy this recipe. And if you are new here, I'd love to have you over at my channel. I post one of these copycat recipes every single Wednesday. So now let's get on to making some Dole Whip. To get our Dole Whip started, here are all the ingredients you guys are going to need. So I have my two 16 ounce bags of pineapple chunks. These are frozen. I only ended up using one of those bags. And then I have my sweet and condensed milk and then my regular 2% milk. And then over here I just have my blender. You can also use a food processor if you have a food processor or just a blender that works well. So let's get this recipe started. To begin, we're starting with our pineapple chunks. So I'm just pouring about three cups of those pineapple chunks into my measuring cup and then I'm just putting it directly into our blender. And then over here with my half cup measuring cup, I'm just measuring out a half a cup of some of that regular 2% milk and then about a half a cup of that sweet and condensed milk and then I'm just going to pour it in. Now with my blender, I'm going to blend this up on my frozen drink setting. If you don't have a frozen drink setting, don't you worry. Just blend it up however you choose to do so. You just pretty much want this to be a smooth consistency. And then once it is a smooth consistency, just like this, I'm going to be adding the remainder of our frozen pineapple from that 16 ounce bag that we just poured in earlier. Now that we have just blended it up a second time and it is looking smooth and beautiful, I did give it a taste test at this point and it is tasting delicious. But I'm gonna be pouring it into this large gallon size Ziploc bag and then I'm just gonna to toss it in the freezer for about 20 minutes just so it hardens up a little bit but that step is totally optional. You could eat it right now and that would be fine. Our 20 minute timer is up, so now it is ready to serve this up and I'm so excited. So I just have this little glass mug right here and a little bit of frozen pineapple to top it with and then of course a green straw because I love to eat everything with a green straw. So I'm just gonna cut a little hole on the corner of this bag, that large gallon size Ziploc bag that the pineapple Dole Whip is in and then I'm just going to squeeze it in our mug. Here is our Dole Whip all plated up in our mug. This was such a good recipe to me. This was just as good as the Disney Dole Whip, if not better, but of course that is my own opinion. And this version did have dairy in it, so I guess it isn't the traditional Dole Whip, but seriously, you guys should definitely give this one a try. I don't think it will disappoint you. That wraps up today's copycat recipe. I hope you guys all enjoyed it and if you are new here I'd love to have you over at my channel so go ahead and subscribe down below the video but I'll see you guys in my next copycat recipe. Bye for now.